Hello again to all my sisters in Christ. Today is another educational lesson about a subject near and dear to everybody's heart. Schooling, or what's better known as education. And um, people think that there's nothing wrong with public schooling. After all, you know, children should be socialized, right? Well, let's see about that, shall we? Check out Jesuit.org the Society of Jesus website. And here on their interesting homepage, if you click on Jesuits Worldwide, you'll uh, see on their Universal Vocation webpage title, click on Jesuit Refugee Service. And actually more on there for sure. And then we scroll down to the bottom of the page and you click on links. Now this this study is generally a, applies to the United States but it applies to everybody in the world because the Jesuits are a international force. So we're going to click on the International Bureau of Education and you see here UNESCO, a United Nations organization. Hmm. What all will we find here? So we're going to hover on the services tab and you'll click on under external links, national education agencies. And with all these national education agencies across the world, and regardless of your location, you can find out what's going on with your so-called education system in your respective country, but we're going to focus on the United States of America. So you'll click on that link and take a look at all these different links on this page. Interesting, huh? Federal Department of Education link, Education Resource Organizations Directory. If you study that sometime, it's got a whole bunch of very nefarious information in it about all sorts of things related to schooling or education. You probably have heard of National Center for Education Statistics and a few of these other titles right here. And of course, all your state departments of education are listed here with links to their proper websites. But that's not, that's not the worst part about it. Let's go to the uh, actual education resource organizations directory in a new tab and let's just see how bad it is. What Click on what's in this directory for me. And it lists all the different types of organizations that are in here, the types of materials, all these welfare agencies and entities and how government has its hand in every single aspect of schooling or education as they call it. But if we go back to the International Bureau of Education links page right here, we see curricular resources. Hmm. Wonder what that could be. Oh, and uh, just in case you wanted to know where this universal education comes from, Interesting. Promoting educational excellence for all Americans. Promoted by the UN. Interesting link there, huh? So we're going to click on the curricular resources in a new tab. And here you have even more sinister and abominable topics that you've probably heard of over the years. How about No Child Left Behind Act, implemented by no other than George W. Bush, an Illuminati family tied to the Vatican, one of the Vatican's minions, if you want to put it that way, or state it that way. And how about this, Common Core State Standards Initiative? Hmm, you've probably already heard about that, haven't you? In case you haven't, here's just a little bit of a of a information about it. 
It takes away handwriting skills for children and replaces it with keyboarding, which is what I was exposed to growing up as a little girl in the public school scam in this country. And around junior high sometime is when I was forced to undergo keyboard training classes. And I did poorly in that because I preferred handwriting and cursive. But most states now, if you look into this Common Core State Standards Initiative, most if not all states here in this country do not teach handwriting anymore at all and do not require it as a standard in their curriculum. Huh. Isn't that interesting? And so for anybody out there who's still a, a hold out to the tradition of voting, go to go to your congressman, write your congressman, vote for for the next best, best politician. Wrong. It is a sin to go against God's plan, God's will in your life. And if you vote in any way, shape, and form, and you send your children to public school, whether it be public government school, private school, whatever, if you do not educate your children yourself the old-fashioned way of handwriting and other things, you are in sin. You might want to read 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 23. For rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. This is exactly what the Bible talks about. Rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. Relying on strangers to teach your children to be a quote-unquote global citizen. I really, really pray for all you ladies out there who have children who are either in public schooling or are wondering how to school your children. I pray that you'll make the right choice.